How has the cost of LEGO sets evolved over time? Is LEGO getting more expensive? What factors contribute to the analysis of LEGO pricing trends? How does the use of different metrics, such as cost per piece and cost per gram, provide different perspectives on LEGO pricing changes? Reddit poster Data Sitting Alone put together this presentation of four charts shining a light on the question, is LEGO getting more expensive? Each of these graphs display two or more converging lines, and that is because the upper lines indicate cost adjusted for inflation. Therefore, the difference between the lines becomes minimal. The first chart, displaying the average cost per LEGO piece at various points over the last 40 years, seems to illustrate a constant improvement in value. However, price per piece has been criticized as an inaccurate measurement for determining if a LEGO building set is too expensive because the varying size and weight of elements isn't taken into consideration. The second chart, displaying the average cost per gram, another way of measuring the price of LEGO building sets, illustrates licensed and unlicensed themes getting more expensive since the mid-2000s. In the third chart, it appears LEGO is slowly raising the bar for just how expensive a building set can be with a sudden spike in high-end options that came around the mid-2000s apparently. The last chart shows cost going up for the median LEGO building set, meaning the price plotted for each year is at the midpoint of all that year's sets. This median cost, however, still provides limited insight into the distribution of set prices and whether or not prices are skewed high or low. Some of the top comments reflect on these charts. One user states, This confirms what I've long thought about LEGO. The sets are getting more expensive, but it's generally more to do with sets getting more intricate and detailed with more pieces than any type of price gouging. I'm sure there's exceptions but it doesn't feel like $50 sets are significantly different in terms of piece count or weight compared to 10 years ago. The problem is that it seems like there's just a lot fewer $50 or cheaper sets than there used to be. As this user suggests, having fewer cheap building sets on the market and so many high-end options would result in a high median price. So the price per piece is the same. That would imply that sets have more pieces and are more complex to cause the median price to quadruple? It would be interesting to see a chart of the median number of pieces per set by year. Looking at the green line indicating unlicensed average cost per piece, not adjusted for inflation, the LEGO Group has kept that value consistent. The gram price is interesting if you put the cost of ABS plastic in perspective. A ton, 1 million grams, of ABS costs about 3,000 USD in relation to selling it for 100,000 USD per ton as LEGO. The LEGO Group appears to have a high profit margin on their plastic bricks. The first chart's depiction of the average cost per LEGO piece suggests a consistent trend of value improvement, yet the criticism of this metric's accuracy in reflecting set complexity highlights the need for more comprehensive measurements. The quadrupling of median set prices is linked to intricate designs and decreased budget options, rather than mere inflation. Data Sitting Alone's research and insights into manufacturing costs shed light on the company's profit landscape, offering a thorough understanding of LEGO's pricing complexities. There are bound to be many opinions on the answer to the question, is LEGO getting more expensive? Feel free to leave a comment stating your conclusion. Like and subscribe.